My name is Bridget McGrath from TahoePT.com and, and today we're going to talk about how to do Pilates at home. One of the things about doing Pilates at home is that it is a great place to start and you don't necessarily need a reformer or any Pilates equipment. It definitely will give you an excellent workout, but it's not necessary to achieve some of the basics of the Pilates movement. So one of the things to remember with Pilates is what is it for? So Joseph Pilates came up with the Pilates exercises as a rehabilitation for dancers. He really wanted them to fire from the core and become aware of their core as a stabilization for all other movements. You actually have a more of a propensity to injure yourself when doing any strength training exercise if your core is not engaged. So Joseph thought that if the core were engaged engaged through every single movement that they did and they were aware of the location of their hips or their pelvis and what the neutrality of their pelvis was and if their diaphragm was fired then every other movement would be stronger because of that so that's what we want to remember we want to remember the fundamentals of Pilates and the fundamentals of Pilates are keep a neutral pelvis so always be aware of the location of your hips now a neutral pelvis is basically both hips as equally high as one another and your spine in a neutral position. Now you know that your spine is in a neutral position when you're laying down flat on the ground and you could fit the size of a grape underneath your lower back and not squash that grape. Even if you lifted your legs up, that's keeping your spine neutral and both hips even so that if you had a plate of grapes on both hips, even if you lifted one leg, none of the grapes would roll to one side or another. So when you start from that neutral pelvis, all other exercises will follow with good form. Now the second thing to remember is your breathing. So you always want to have your diaphragm engaged. So if you put your fingers up against the base of your sternum or right in between where your rib cage starts to break apart and you exhale all the way, that muscle that you feel underneath starting to get tight, that's your diaphragm. So you want to get become very aware of that diaphragm and have that diaphragm engaged even though you're breathing in or breathing out. You always want to have your rib cage tucked and engaged and strong as if you were exhaling all the way. So remembering those, the neutral pelvis and the breathing throughout every Pilates exercise will guarantee proper form throughout those exercises. The first basic Pilates exercise that I want to talk about is the Pilates 100. It's a great way to learn that neutrality of your pelvis, where the positioning of your hips are, and to get that breathing down. The basics of a Pilates 100 is to lay down with a neutral pelvis, have all of your angles at 90 degree angles. So you want your arms over your shoulders, you want your knees over your hips, and you want your ankles as high as your knees are. The Pilates 100 earned its name from the breathing count. So what you'll do is holding your arms in a very rigid stance with your lats engaged, shoulders down and back, you're going to pump your arms up and down for counts of five. So you'll breathe in for a five count and exhale for a five count. Another basic Pilates exercise that's very good for you is Pilates bird dog. Now a bird dog is where you were laying down before, now you're going to be prone. So you're gonna be on all fours. Again, watch those angles. You want your wrists underneath your shoulders, you want your knees underneath your hips, and you want your ankles in line with your knees. Now you're gonna keep that neutral pelvis. What you're going to do is inhale as you bring your elbow close to your knee without that back turning. So think again about that plate of grapes. You've got that plate of grapes on your hips and you don't want those, those grapes to roll to or fro. So even as you bring your elbow to your knee, the grapes are staying still. You're gonna inhale as you bring that close and exhale as you bring yourself into a straight line. So from ankle, to wrist of those opposing leg and arm, you, get, you have a perfectly straight and neutral line. You're exhaling all the way, so again, you get that diaphragm engaged and you're gonna get it full exhale before you bring that again to your starting position. My name is Bridget McGrath from TahoePT.com and I hope you enjoyed learning how to do Pilates at home.